Today is a sad day, Clovernotes is shutting down. And for those who didn't know what Clovernotes was, it was a note-taking application with a really creative focus, allowing you to do really awesome sketches, connect up daily notes, and do some really interesting things. Well, sadly, Figma bought them a few months ago, and today is the date that they're shutting down. So for those who are migrating from Clovernotes, we're gonna dive into some alternatives. Today's view is kindly brought to you by 1Password. We'll talk about them a little bit later on. So there are obviously loads of note-taking apps to consider and we actually just published our 10 best note-taking applications and we dived into that on Toolfinder. So you can find that linked below. But if you're in the hunt for particularly applications that are similar to Clover, let's dive into them. The first of those is actually by the people that acquired them. FigJam is a experience that allows you to, much like Miro, uh, be able to visualize and collaborate in real time with other people on ideas. Now this can be from sticky notes to boards to interactive wireframes, but the application wants you to manage that all in one location. The reason I recommend this as an alternative is it's very likely that the Clovernotes team will have an influence on where FigJam is going in the future, hence their acquisition. So it's likely that a lot of people will like to see the experience being weaved in here, or at least elements of it, much like Microsoft Outlook did with Sunrise in the past. However, FigJam is very much focused towards teams, so it's very much a consideration if you're in a small to medium-sized team and you're looking to collaborate on notes. Next up, as an alternative, is Obsidian. Now, about a year ago, I probably wouldn't have recommended Obsidian as a Clover Notes alternative, purely because the application doesn't have any Canvas abilities or ways to be more creative. But more recently, they do. Obsidian Canvas allows you to bring ideas together, connect notes with images, and be able to make relationships between them. And that really brought it into a, a, being a good alternative. For those who don't know, Obsidian allows you to locally store notes and they have a growing feature set, which I'm really impressed at as somebody who reviews plenty of productivity tools. So Obsidian is definitely an alternative to look at. Next up is actually LogSeq, which is very similar to Obsidian. And very much like Obsidian, they have a canvas-like feature which they called whiteboards. Well, both of these applications are free at the moment and uh, even LogSeq has a beta for syncing of notes but this is a great way to connect up notes, but also visually express them on a whiteboard-like structure. Before we dive into our final one, you can check out 1Password in the link in the description. There's three reasons why I love 1Password. My wife introduced it to me, should be number one, but the first is autofill, allowing you to stop hunting for information, and it autofills everything from usernames, passwords, to payment for information automatically. There's also Watchtower that gives you a glance of your information to make sure you're kept safe. So compromised passwords, think duplicated passwords. Well, it's basically your Watchtower for looking on and seeing what you need to do to improve your security. And finally, a secret key that gives you all of your data protected by 128-bit secret key. And it combines your account password to encrypt your data. So check out one password in the link in the description. Okay, on to the final uh, Clovernotes alternative. And for me, that's Milanote. Uh, Milanote is actually used by a lot of individuals because of its structure. It's very much like FigJam, but allows you to go into board-like structures and organize stuff much more visually. So if you're a creative or a designer or somebody who works very visually in the note-taking space, then there's, this is a great consideration if you're looking at experiences. Now, there are a few notable alternatives that are relatively new on the market that it's worth considering. The first of those is Napkin, and the second of those is Heptabase. Both of these applications are great for visualizing ideas and are really part of this new visual note-taking applications that are growing in the market. And it's well worth considering those options as well. You can find all of these applications on Toolfinder. A big, big thank you to 1Password for sponsoring today's feature, and I'm sure I'll see you all in a future video. And hopefully, I'm very sorry to all the Clovernotes users that have sadly seen their application disappear today. But I'm sure brighter futures are ahead for you and your notes. Thank you very much, and I will see you all very soon. Cheerio.